in the last topic, we discussed about the parts and functions of camera lens. Today, we will have a field test on different types of lenses and how you take a reading photograph. And we will use a smartphone. This is an interesting topic guys, I promise. This is a huge advantage to your photography game. Let's start now. First is the normal lens, also known the standard lens which people commonly use, that produces an image that roughly match what the human eye is and which looks natural to the viewer. It has an angle of view 45 to 75 degrees diagonally that a human eye can comfortably view. So in your smartphone, this is just the auto mode setting you use every day. Pull out your camera and then take a shot. That's how simple it is. Next one is the wide angle lens. This type of lens allows more scene to be included in the photograph, which is useful in architectural, interior, and landscape photography, where the photographer may not be able to move farther from the scene to photograph it. So in short, the wide-angle lens has more field of view than the standard lens that allows you to take super wide landscape and sceneries. This is how you shoot it. Most of smartphones today have this wide-angle lens. By just tapping this setting, your camera will adjust instantly to wide-angle view and take the shot. This is best when you need to take landscapes and in architectural purposes that has a huge field of view. Telephoto lens. This type of lens covers a smaller field of view and a shallower depth of field. It has a longer focal length and provides a close-up image of a distant subject. Far objects appear enlarged, while near objects do not appear proportionally large. To do this shot, you need a telephoto lens. Most of smartphones have this type of lens. Just tap the telephoto lens setting and you will see it has more narrow view but has a closer view to far away subjects than normal lens does. So, let's take the shot and this is our telephoto shot. Next is macro lens. This type of lens allows you to focus extremely close to a subject that appears large in the image. The word macro was derived from a Greek word which means to enlarge. A macro lens is a special type of camera lens that has the ability to work with very short focusing distances, taking sharp images of very small subjects. To do that, we need a very small subject and I want you to lower your manual focus to the lowest setting possible like this. The green that are you seeing is our focus so you will easily find out that you are focused correctly on your subject and then take the shot and this is our macro shot now. And last is zoom lens. This type of lens allows a quick adjustment that gives wide or narrow field of vision. It can be moved back and forth while other elements stay in place which gives the same effect as if the camera itself was moving towards or away from the subject. To take this shot, you just need to adjust your zoom setting depending how zoomed in your photo you want to be. And then take the shot. And this is what it looks like. And that's it for today guys, until next time.